Hey, this is Malcolm341. In this video, we're going to look at a free update to the light mapping toolbox. I've added some powerful new features and cleaned up the workflow to save you even more time, so let's check it out. So first, if you're not familiar with the tool, it's a quick way to create custom light map UVs for your model in one click. I'll add a link in the description to the previous video where you can learn about how light maps work. So we'll just do a quick demo here on this model right here. So um, click the LMAP button in the shelf here to launch the little tool. And then you've got a bunch of stuff that you can do here. So you can turn on the checker map so you can see what you're doing, plus and minus to increase or decrease the size of the checkers. Next, I'm going to turn on this button here, the UV set editor, just to bring up the UV set editor from Maya so we can see what we're doing. So you can see here, all I have is map one. That's my default UV set. And then all you need to do is select your model. See here, I've got my map one UVs and click the create light map UVs button. So click that and boom, there's your uh, light map UVs all laid out and unfolded for you. So you're ready to go. From there, you can change the padding to be whatever you want and then click the layout UVs. So even more padding or something go tighter uh, and kind of do whatever you want in there. You'll also notice because I've created light map UVs, you can see here I've got map one and light map. And then if you want to switch between the two, you can click map one or light map and it'll switch uh, between those two UV sets. So depending on what you want to work on. And then finally, you can turn this on and off as a toggle by clicking it on and off. And then you can click the delete light map UVs here to delete the light map UVs and it'll pop back to your map one UVs. Let me just uh, switch back here to create uh, light map UVs one more time. Get that going on there. And then kind of a hidden or accidental feature is that when you click map one or light map, it switches you to object mode, which is actually really nice. You don't have to go into here and like fiddle with any of that stuff. So no matter what mode you're in here, if you click this guy, it's going to go boom and launch you back into object mode. So just a quick way to get in and out of object mode. So even if you're doing something with the light map UVs and you want to go to map one or light map, it'll kick you back to object mode, which can be helpful. Okay, so one of the most important new features here, I'm just going to switch over to this model. This is two of these kind of things combined here with a beveled edge or whatever. The uh, diffuse UVs or map one UVs are pretty janky. This is just for demonstration purposes. So you can see here, I've got this piece, which is actually folded onto itself. So even if you've got some wacky overlapping UVs or whatever, everything should work fine. So I'm just going to click create light map UVs and boom, it's all laid out nice. And uh, the unfolding took care of that overlap. But what's really cool is I've updated the layout and the create to use the unfold 3D uh, algorithm or whatever. And so now you'll see shells will pack inside of shells instead of only going to the outside so you can see it's starting to pack this stuff on the inside I could just uh change this let's uh, do a layout again so see we're still getting some packing on the inside so it'll do its best to try to fill up wasted space if you have uh, donut shapes or things with holes in them there you go even tighter it's going to go in there and then i'm just going to delete the light map uvs off that guy so something that was also super annoying, that was kind of like a bug or just like it was kind of some funky bit of my code or whatever is depending on what you were doing in this menu here, it would sometimes lose the selection of the object or kick you out to a weird object mode or something. So now if you're in object mode or you're in UV mode and you've only got like a couple of the UVs selected, you don't really have to worry about what you're selecting. When you do the layout or the create, it's just going to magically get all the UVs for the object. So even if I'm over here in object mode and I click layout, it's going to figure that out. If I'm like have some stuff selected here and do a layout, it's going to work there. And so basically, you're never going to lose the selection of your object. It's always going to be in the right mode to do the layout. Um, so that's like a bug that I fixed and uh, just a lot cleaner workflow now. You never really have to change component mode ever to do whatever you want. You can go here and then go like that and then do this and everything's all good. You're never gonna have to kind of fiddle with anything. And again, if you ever wanna get out of UV mode, you can just tap light map or tap map one, depending on which one you wanna stay in. So this is nice because like, let's say you've just done a layout and then you can get out of it with that and then you can select another object. 
But probably the best feature of all that I've added here is this little tick box, the tick box to do unfold, rotate, and scale. And I'll show you what that does right now. So I'm just going to do the layout UVs with less spacing. Let's try 32. OK, cool. So let's say that this is your target kind of spacing for whatever game you're working on with the uh, light map spacing there. And you're pretty happy with this pack. Like it's got some stuff going on the inside, but there's still all of this wasted space. And if you were to try and like, oh, I don't know, let's like try to scale these guys up, maybe like scale this guy up like this to kind of fill in the wasted space and you click the layout again, it's all going to pop back. And that's because the initial layout uses the tick box, which unfolds the shells to prevent any overlapping. And then it rotates the shells to try and get the best fit. And then it scales the shells to all be uniform texel density. And that's great. That's exactly what you want. But you only want that until you've gotten to this point where you're pretty happy with your pack. Maybe you've stitched some edges and you've laid it out a couple times and you're like, OK, great, this is good. But now I want to get rid of the wasted space. So check this out. This is super cool. So you turn this tick box off and now it's just going to do the layout, but it's not going to uh, do the unfold, the rotate or the scale. So now you can do crazy stuff like, oh, I don't know, grab these guys and make them a little bit bigger and then relay out and they stay bigger so i don't know let's pull this guy up as well let's like really maximize that space and lay out again and it stays bigger and then you can do other cool stuff like grab these guys and rotate them and try the layout again and see if you get a more efficient pack so and then something like this you could scale this guy up maybe let's see what happens layout and it stays big oh and then we got something that popped in there or better yet, maybe this face is not an important face. Maybe it's on the back of the model or something and you really don't need it and you scale it down like super small because it doesn't really get seen by the player. Layout and then you've got a super small one. So you can do all types of crazy stuff. Like let's try rotating these guys to the side and layout again. Oh yeah, okay. And then it kind of filled it in. So after you've done your initial pack and everything is uniform, then you can go and hand tweak it and just keep relaying it out to really maximize any wasted space that might come up. So that is super powerful. This is actually really going to help me uh, at, at my job because I've had to do a lot of these custom light map UVs recently. And then at any time, if you change your mind and like you've gone too far or stretched this or it's not working out or whatever, you just turn this back on and then it's going to go back and it's going to normalize everything, unify it, and lay it out and rotate it as best it can. So you can kind of go back to the, like, the clean, unified pack without any of your edits. And then one handy feature that I forgot to mention is when you click the map one or light map, it doesn't matter what you have selected. It actually flips all of the objects in the scene to map one or light map UVs. So here I'm just going to create light map UVs for that guy, create them for this guy. Go to this guy, create them for that. And then if I click this, this guy pops back, but that guy also popped back and that guy also popped back. So it doesn't matter what you have selected. So that's his map one, that's his map one. Go to light map, he's also set to light map. So, and that guy too. So this is also really helpful because I can't count the number of times I've accidentally started working on the diffuse UVs, thinking it was the light map UVs and like not realizing for 20 minutes and then I've destroyed my model and I'll have to like go back to the beginning. And then let's quickly create light map UVs for these uh, assets right here. So let's go to this guy and we'll go create light map UVs. You'll see not much changed. It is in the light map mode. UV set, but not much change. And that's because it doesn't have any cut edges. So you might go in and do some edits. Okay, I'm going to cut those edges so they can expand out and just relay out. Okay, great. That's cool. And now I'm going to turn off the unfolding stuff. So maybe we could scale these this way, let's say, layout again. Cool. Scale a little bit more, layout again, right on. And then there's the map one and the light map. Okay, moving right along. Turn that back on, create light map UVs. Cool, we got that. Um, okay, so what should we do here? Let's like try to scale some of these guys up and see what happens. Let's just try to maximize that a bit, turn that off, fill it in, probably still get some more stuff. Try to fill these guys in a couple more times here. 
see what happens, layout, cool, it's looking pretty good. And then let's try to grab all of these, whoops, and then rotate, and then layout again. Cool, we're getting pretty close here. And then let's try scaling these up a little bit and see what happens. Oh, that one actually popped back. And so sometimes your pack's never going to fit perfectly because sometimes you'll have to do non-uniform, and that's kind of up to you whether or not you want to stretch the light map UVs or not. I know people that swear by unified light map UVs, no skewing, and then I know people that swear by trying to fill up as much of the texture space as possible. And then we'll also try to scale this guy up a little bit so it's more unified with that guy. Layout. So this one, you can probably play around with it for quite a bit to get the perfect one. And there's the map one, and there's the light map. Okay, and then moving over to this guy. So just zoom in here, and we will create. Whoops, turn that on, create. Got our light map UVs. And you can see here, even with the layout unify and all that stuff, see this guy got rotated 45 degrees, and I don't know why. So you could just quickly come in there and rotate that guy out and turn that off and click again. And boom, he's now straightened and packed better. And then maybe these faces aren't as important, like maybe this back face, this back face, this back face, this back face, not really that useful because uh, you're not going to see them, but they're wasting a lot of UV space. So you can scale those guys down by like half or something and then redo the layout and Maybe then I could scale all this little stuff up to fit better. Let's so try that now and see what happens. Grab those guys. Sure, I'm going to grab all of these guys and that. And those things look like minuscule. So deselect those. So grab all that stuff. I don't know. Sure, let's try to scale it up like that much and then do another layout. Yeah, and then we got that stuff scaled up and it's getting closer to being uh, more fully utilizing all of the UV space. And then, of course, yeah, if you wanted to do something uh, really custom, like maybe the front of this guy. So let's say the front UVs of that one, super high res. Let's make this thing like gigantic and then just lay out again. And you can see that's preserved super big and all the other stuff kind of just tries to pack around it. So this is a super huge improvement to the existing tool. So I hope you guys enjoy it. If you've already purchased the full script pack, the UV pack, or the single script, this will be a free update. So you just need to download the same file again to get the new stuff. If you haven't purchased the script yet, you can grab the script by itself in the full script pack or the UV mapping pack. So take your pick. Thanks for watching, everybody. Without viewers like you, this channel would not be possible. If you like this video, please purchase something from the online store. Each purchase goes towards creating more video content and keeps the channel ad-free. See you next time. Have an exceptional day.